So welcome everybody. This is Channeling Kriya. And today is May the 31st, 2020. So let's begin. And I would like to begin by taking everybody into a short meditation. And then Kriya will come through whenever um, Kriya is ready to come through. So let's just take a deep breath in and let go when you can no longer hold your breath and continue to breathe in and breathe out easily and effortlessly on your own. Follow your own rhythm. And start to imagine that you are stepping into an energetic elevator. So just imagine you are stepping into this energetic elevator that is at the top of your head. And when you're inside, then just look for the button that has the heart sign on it and press it and allow this energetic elevator to take you away from your head, further down into your throat area, and then further down into your shoulders area, and then all the way down to your heart. And when you get to your heart, and just feel this energetic elevator just opens its doors. And when you step outside, you are there in your heart. Just feel how it feels to be in your heart. Away from any mind chattering, away from all the events in your life from even 10 minutes ago. And now that you are in your heart, just stay as calm and connected with your heart as much as possible. When you are in your heart, just imagine that you are breathing from your heart. Imagine that your heart actually can take in oxygen and try to breathe from your heart. As you breathe in your heart, feel your heart getting bigger, expanding, opening up. And as you breathe out, just imagine anything that is no longer serving you, any thoughts, any energy no longer serving you to just let it go. In your heart, send love to Mother Earth. Imagine that your heart, you can send energy from your heart, allow it to go all the way down your body and come out to the soles of your feet and allow it to get into the floor and all the way down into the earth, 
all the way down into the middle of the earth where the consciousness of Mother Earth is and connect with that consciousness. And allow that consciousness to expand your consciousness as well. And absorb in this energy from Mother Earth, this consciousness from Mother Earth. And allow yourself and trust yourself to only bring in the consciousness from Mother Earth that you are ready to use and take advantage of. Whatever it is that is beyond your comprehension and beyond being useful for you for now, that your body will not be taking those in. Whatever it is that does not support you in this moment, you can send it back to Mother Earth. Just set that intention and allow your own body to do that. And set the other intention is to connect with Father, Son, with our star of the solar system, the sun. The sun is really holding the consciousness from the universe, from the rest of creation that is apart and outside of Mother Earth. Send love to Father Sky and allow and connect with the consciousness of the sun. And also allow the consciousness of the sun to expand and touch your consciousness as well. And also know that you will only absorb and make use of whatever consciousness from the sky, from the sun, that you are being able to make use of in this moment while you are on Mother Earth. And let all of these different aspects of you to come together, to expand your consciousness beyond what you thought is possible. and feel the love of the whole universe with you. In this room, wherever it is that you're at, wherever it is that your body, your vessel is at, Start to feel, start to feel the energies coming from all over the galaxy, coming from all over Earth.
you are not alone. And you have never been alone. You may feel that you are just this one person in the room right now. And that is only part of the truth. Even though you don't see other bodies, you may not see a lot of other bodies around you, but there are actually other beings that are always around you. Your parents are around you. Those of you whose parents may not be in this earth anymore physically, but energetically, they are with you always. That is how we actually function is that we carry the energy signature of our parents because they love us so much even though they may not show their love and support in the way that we wanted to experience them while they are still alive Make no mistake that when they have transitioned from this physical realm into the energetic realm, that their love, their compassion, and their care for us will compel them to always leave a part of their energy signature with you. And what does that mean? That means they are always have a way to contact you and to know and keep tabs on you no matter where it is they are in and whatever it is that they are doing right now, no matter where their soul is, a part of their energy is with you. A part of the energy that is with you, when you can feel it, that is there comforting you That is their arms around you. If only you can feel it. That is how human beings are. The connections we make while we are alive, they last and last. And some of us even choose to still go on playing with similar playmates, similar soul signature, even though they may have different bodies, life after life, we decide to and we make promises with each other to continue on this co-creation. Sometimes they may be our parents. Sometimes they may be our brother, our sister. Sometimes they may be our um, sons and daughters. A 
And that's how our soul group can work with one another lifetimes after lifetimes and we build up this connection this tremendous love that simply does not dissipate does not go away even when our bodies may no longer be close to each other anymore So take a deep breath and feel the presence of your loved ones who have passed over. For they are still around you. And they are still there for you. And that's how love is. That from lifetime to lifetime, we work with different different scenarios but the same souls, we keep working with them over and over again until one point, one time, we have supported each other to learn all the lessons that we can possibly learn while we play with the same or similar energies. And this is what soul groups are. So feel within your heart. Feel them. They are still there. They have never left. And some of them would even come back to be your spirit guide. That is what family does for one another, especially so families. Feel within your heart now. Feel the love. The love of so family members. We actually have many levels of soul families. Connect with your soul family. Imagine seeing them holding hands with them.
and know that you can actually share gifts and skills from your soul family. That is why we have soul families, so that we don't have to have to try all the different experiences that we can actually just get access to each other's experiences, skills, wisdom. And we share it when we are in our heart. When we are in our heart, And we allow that connection. And we let go. Of the emotions that are clouding. Our ability to receive the information from them. We can actually feel the wisdom that each of them, each and every one of our soul family in all their lifetimes, from all their travels, in different galaxies, different dimensions, all of their experiences, if we just tune into them in our heart, we can actually access them and make use of them in this moment that we are in. Whenever you feel that you need some inspiration, you need to create something new, you can actually connect with all of your soul families and get in touch with their creativity as well. Get in touch with their experience. And that's why we have soul families so that we can explore similar themes and we can share our experiences. So tap into your heart and feel the love of soul families. And tap into the wisdom and the gifts of soul families. If you ask for that connection, ask. for the sensitivity to be able to tap into all of those wisdom, experiences, skills, creativity that all your other soul families have gathered throughout. You will never run out of creativity. Some of us 
actually have lifetimes. Where we are actually running parallel. Where you are here. And another aspect of you are somewhere else. Could be different planet or sometimes even the same planet. But in very different situations, very different life situation. And you can tap into those too. It's not something that you can learn to tap into consciously. It's something that is just open to you, available to you unconsciously. You just have to, when you need it, inspiration, when you need it, help, is to draw on those connections that you already have to just allow for those inspiration to come to you at the right time. That is why it is a good practice to be in your heart as much as possible. Because when you're in your heart, you're at the best point, the best place to receive all of that transmission Breathe, so breathe, breathe in the connections that you have with your soul family, some of whom may be people that you have already met, some of whom may be people that you will meet. But whether you have met them physically or not, you will always be able to connect with them energetically. Feel the love of soul family and set that intention. to be connected with your soul family and set the intention to be open to communicating with them, whether it is energetically or actually meeting them in person, in physical contact. Everything is possible. Feel your room becoming more filled with the love of your soul family. 
even though you may not see them, you may not even remember them. But you're connected with them in ways that you don't even even begin to comprehend. We support each other. Everything that you do supports them consciously and unconsciously. And the same goes for them. Everything that they are experiencing is also supporting you, whether you know it or not. Be open to feeling the love of family around you. Your soul family. You don't have to consciously know, but you do know that at a soul level, you are all cut from the same fabric. Each soul family shares similar energetic signature. And when you meet each other in person, sure you have the fortune to do that, you would feel it. Feel the magic of family, of your soul family. And from this moment onwards, feel their presence, their love, their wisdom to be always with you. So that you will never need to feel lonely again. Feel the thickness of their love, the potency of their love. Allow their love for you to be like the wind that is supporting you to sail through this experience you called life on earth.
for that is why so families are created so that we can support each other across space and time parallel worlds or different dimensions this love of family the experience of the love of your soul family allow it to completely fill any possible void in your life in your creation right now Well, that is what we do for family. Allow this love, this feeling of being supported, of being understood, of being validated. of being accepted, of being valued, of being seen, of being heard. It is all there, all of your family are here with you right now, energetically. It has been said that love heals. So let this love of your soul families to penetrate you, to penetrate your concept of who you are and allow this love from your soul family to heal everything that needs to be healed in your life. And allow this love from your soul family to bring you joy, in this moment, and allow this love to leave an impression on your heart.
an impression that is strong enough and complete enough. And chase out any feeling of lack or not enough. Let those go. They don't serve you anymore. Remember that you are loved very much. From all levels of creation. Let this feeling of being reunited with your soul family to be reunited with the energy that is most similar to you. To let you know that you are loved so much. You have so much support. We love you. And we leave you with this love. Thank you for joining us and allowing us to show you this love. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.